Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another recording of Dishonored. Let's continue. So, we spared the Assassin Dodge, and now we are working our way back to the Hound Pit Pub. Uh, these areas are so strangely linear. This area in particular feels really linear that I'm thinking my new theory is that sections were given to different teams or different people in such small amounts that they could not reattach sections like this to other sections. What also might have been the case, and it's very possible, it's, it's even likely, is that their engine is just not up to snuff, and because of that, what are uh, because the engines aren't up to snuff for running the, these large areas, that they had to separate the areas just to just to make them work on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 when it first came out, and. Ultimately, you want, you kind of wish that all games could go back and be made again. It's a silly thought, I know, but I kind of wish it was true. I kind of wish I could, they would go back, remake this game, upgrade the graphics, and allow for certain elements to be, uh, smoother, just on a better engine. That is really the great thing of the Vanishing of Ethan Carter Redux. There was a game that was made in Unreal Engine 3 and then only like a couple months after it came out, Unreal Engine 4 came out. And it wasn't really difficult for them to just port it to the new engine and make the slightest of tweaks and those small tweaks made the game run a lot better and look better. <laughs> if if the upgrade is easy like that, I say do it. But usually it's not easy like that. Usually it's a lot more difficult. Yeah, okay, we'll eat some rat. Loot the sweeper. No reason to really come over and over here. You think there would be something there, but the only thing there is the loot. It's this feels so strange, this play style. What they're suggesting you do with the loot. That you would try and play levels over and over again to pick up the most insignificant of things. Such as loot. Alright, how do I get that? How do I get that? That... Hmm. So I guess we're gonna go full circle for that one. So let's... Let's run here. We don't even need to not run. Playing in stealth around weepers makes no sense. Do weepers set off alarms? Hmm. That is an interesting, I guess, thought. Or can you just be noticed by a weeper and it still get you the achievement? If it, weepers can't set off alarms and if the uh, guards can only set off alarms if there happen to actually be alarms in the level, uh, that's actually a, a much more doable achievement than I would have thought at first glance. So, the... The revolution here, pun I guess intended, not really, is we're going down there. Hmm. 
So we're hoping this top section here uh, Come on Do I have to turn the wheel as I'm standing on the thing? So I fall? There we go Old Dunwall sewer So I hope there weren't any collectibles up there because there's no way up back up why, why, why not have this sewer system, like, under that first area that we saw, uh, in level two? Why not have it all connect? Like, the sewers we saw in the prison escape connect with the sewers here, connect with the sewers under the Hound Pit pub. Is this a guy? Let's go see if this is a weeper or a guy. Wish I had a last swig of whiskey. You're the mask guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy, and then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, but without Slackjaw, things went bad quick. I barely crawled out. I might be the only one left, last of the Bottle Street boys. Whatever's down there, it's likely to have the sewer key you need. So we have to fight some kind of sewer monster. Alright. The fog attacked us. They're all dead. We couldn't do nothing without Slackjaw. And so he's mentioning the fact that I killed Slackjaw accidentally. Uh, obviously if I hadn't killed Slackjaw accidentally, I think things would have not gotten m been mentioned there, but it wouldn't have mattered one way or the other. He would have still been stuck there. We're getting some new paintings on the wall from the old Dunwall. What? Did he shoot himself or did somebody else shoot him? Shoot a gun. I think he shot himself. Interesting. That's kind of cool. As soon as you walk away, he shoots you. He shoots himself. Alright, let's get up here. So some kind of fog that controls the rats. One foot past them. Alright, now is the time to start using crossbow bolts. So, are these guys coming? Down or what? They gonna attack me? I only have a couple bolts. So I need to get some more if I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. I think for giggles we should at least once also uh, like can't can't get through that way, we'll have to go down. Did I miss one? Ah, these sewers are confusing. River crust. So these are the river crust. 
things they've been talking about. Interesting. So what's the deal with the bathtub? I get the bodies. I don't get the bathtub. Combination required for that bone charm. I want that badly, but I don't want to sit here and potentially have to. <sighs> Let's see. What is the combination? Jelly's next text. Uh, told me the you'll lose the taste of whiskey in a month of wind. Then your eyes will go dim in the month of seeds, and you'll draw your last breath in the month of ice. So, the 13 months. The month of wind is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, Six, seven, eight, five, two, eight is the combination. Five, two, eight. Nice little puzzle there. The book get right here gives you the thirteen months and the note right there tells you or pretty much indicates to you at least if you figure if you can figure it out what the combination was hmm. now there's two more of those this way that I think we'll get to later so the major problem with this is you're now playing uh, this shooter game that we haven't been playing up to this point. Wow. Was the previous, like, society just, did they worship rats? I'm starting to wonder. Is the outsider the god of the rats, really? And no one else? Hmm. It's hard to tell. We know where the sewer key is because we have this video game pointer telling us where it is. to die. That didn't work. Spring razor didn't work. Let's just swim. I guess that was the real solution there was we were supposed to swim. Swim for it, let's see. Can we swim up and get any oxygen? Uh nope. I'm about to die. Are we gonna immediately die or are we gonna 
slowly die. Let's get up there. One, two, three. So they have very specific uh, angles at which they can see, it seems like. So we've got to now just go for it. Oxygen up here. Alright. I'll take some bolts. Let's not, let's not go down until we're ready. And down. And there's nothing else here. Just a little bit of light. So. This is not a great system. This is. I'm glad that we didn't have more of this in the game. All water level sucks. It is a almost unbreakable standard in video games that all water levels are awful in video games and this one is not really terrible but it is still not an exception to that rule so we are 218 uh, 218 and 201 away from that and 50 away from the sewer key I just want to keep my eyes on these collectibles. I don't want to lose them. If I can avoid it. Maybe I can't avoid it. Spring Razor Trap. It feels like I just was given everything back that I tried to use. Now, as far as blinking, like, through this section, I don't believe you can. I feel, I feel like what we're really doing, or at least the original attention, was that this was going to be the, this was going to be a game of us walking right under all the sections we've done for a while of the flooded sea. City. Who is this? Hey, it's Granny Rags. Granny Rags, interesting. Hey, Granny, how you doing? Sift through that pile of slack jaw, will you, dear? You can have his boots and knickknacks, but leave the bones for me. Careful, might still be hot. Uh, strange smelling manuscript, feathers, man, out seeds, stir a bit. So she's, she's bowling up Slackjaw, I believe, right now. And, what is this? I don't know what this trigger it does. So before we do it, let us prepare. We are in kind of a rounded arena area that feels like a fight section. Here's a big old fish. I didn't just why is it on top? I don't know. The Outsider and the Circumscribed Void. Interesting. Sleep darts. Granny Rag's camera. What does Granny Rag's camera do?
Blood Ox. Let's see, my max mana has been increased? Let's see, I'll take that over strong arms. Nice. Explorer's Journal, we'll pretend to read that. Now, the items we were looking for, though, was, let's see, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger. Hmm. It's not an upgrade. It's not a gadget. It's not a key. And it's not a resource. So, what was that thing we just picked up? Doesn't even seem like it's an item. Organic rubbish from it. That's what's left of Slackjaw. I guess I should thank you for killing him for me. Guess it wouldn't hurt you sifting through his belongings, just leaving his bones. So I already killed Slackjaw. Slackjaw's corpse. Dunwall Sewer Master Key. Return Drain, here's one. 19, 171. find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dow, the man who killed the Empress, you had him in the palm of your hand. Will you let him walk away? You fascinate me. Hmm. So, the outsider, you might look at him from a perspective of he's looking for people to act in new ways, not these standard ways. So if somebody acts out of goodness and always acts good, that eventually would get bo be boring. If someone acts out of evil and always does evil, that too would get boring. And so I think he wants a little bit of everything, a little bit of chaos. There we go, we'll take that. So what does this do? I gotta open the furnace. Here. Oh no, doctor. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. Place Granny's Camillo cameo in the front let's walk away hmm. so apparently we can destroy granny smith let's do it there are birds they're just invisible birds no, the rats. It works best if I boil the pot. Any chance you'll hop in the pot, dearie? You will die, and I'll carve spells into your ribs. So. There we go. There's Granny Smith. Granny Rag's gone. 
that I didn't even know we could do that. Let's see, we were being nice to her, and apparently there was some side quest there. What happens if we do this? What did that do? I have no idea. That would be kind of cool if she did have invisible birds and we would just couldn't see them. I w my only intention here was to burn his body, actually. I was gonna throw him in here and the Leviathan Sorrow. I was just gonna throw his body in there and try and get it in there. Whatever. We have the Sewer Master Key. I don't believe I can get up here. None of this looks right. There I go, just falling to my death. I assume that that probably opened this gate. So the return drain, that's where we're supposed to go. Can we reach that? I don't want to. I want to go back. Here we go. Let's just run. I mean, you really have to sh say that was terrible, though. Just terrible, like game testing or directing your player towards something. Because I literally just accidentally managed to. I, I managed to accidentally walk right into an optional thing that I had no thought whatsoever about. Alright, this is a cool scene. If we had a couple more of these, you could help fix some of the problems that these areas have had. So 30 meters and 57 meters. So was Granny Rags the fog that was control using the rats? I imagine yes, she was. And that body is missing. Maybe there is another fog monster, but I have a hard time believing that. 44, 44 and 59. all kind of weepers and such and you have to really you have to really think is, is there really would I not be saying any of this right now if I had Never upgrade here. Still takes a couple hits. To kill all these guys. I'm about to die again.
Rat skewer. Rotten tomato plant. One that's down here. We just have to get down there. Here we go. Another rune. We've got one over here. Come down through this section. Nothing seems to be over here in this section. If they are reusing a lot of assets, I'm not noticing that either. Which is kind of strange. <laughs> Maybe the grading is being reused? Yeah, the, these like gradings and things are probably stock assets, but the last stuff doesn't seem like it is. Maybe the people are, they kind of look like they might be close to the people that you fought in Bioshock, and this does ha kind of have that Bioshock feel to it, this game. 18 meters that way. I come down here. Can I reach anything? Nope. Just. Mm. Yeah, it does kind of have a Bioshock feel to it. I'm sure the, this game was influenced by Bioshock, unless this game came out before Bioshock, which would be with damage. The water aspect of Bioshock, the man machine. There we go. Uh, and there is not a good way to take these chunks out at all. That is one way to do it, but. Not particularly a good way. <laughs> yeah. attack you if you're too close. Apparently. Oh, this there we go. Can't really pick up items that are floating in the water. Interesting. What? We now have eight out of eight runes, so we can now upgrade bin time. And we have acrobat. You climb slightly faster. I will forego doing that one. Are there any more collectibles in this area? No. So let's just work our way to the sewer exit. Pretty sure I know which way this is going to be. Maybe not. Maybe I have no clue where I'm supposed to be going. So it exits that way. Jeez, how do we get there? exit 76 meters that way. This feels like the right path. Can't 
let's just go through the walls. Ah, I see it. I could see some people getting stuck right there. Just not realizing the next part of this puzzle. Walk right through this? Oh, I can't walk through it. Interesting. So, blood from the eyes. So I, I have to, I guess, assume that it was Granny Rags that was doing all of the writing on the walls and worshipping the rats and using them. So she's capable of doing some magic from the magic that the outsider gave him. Seems like he gives everybody sometimes very similar abilities, but then also sometimes from very unique abilities. Well, no, not really. If I had unlocked the, the ability to summon a swarm of rats, I would have probably the exact same abilities all the other people that the outsider has given abilities to. So I retract that statement, since it doesn't seem logic logically correct. Hound Pits Pub, here we go. So, that was the flooded district. It took us, what, maybe two and a half hours? So we are going up in time a little bit. We killed 43 people, one civilian. Who was the one civilian? I don't even know of a civilian in the, this level. We got all five runes, all eight bone charms, the one shrine. We missed two Sokolov paintings, and we missed a considerable amount of gold. All of that gold must have been gotten from uh, looting. Uh, again, overall chaos high. We have done it in every single one. We're going to do it in all of them. We, re we recovered our weapons and gear. In theory, you don't have to. You could play the rest of the game, I guess, without it. It would be kind of silly and a lot more difficult but it seems like you can do it the loyalists you return to the hound pits pub to pick up the trail of your old allies and find out where they have taken emily so i just come in this door and here i am talk to cecilia Please, no Oh, it's you, Corvo. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. Havelock called us into the yard. But I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Hmm. Emily so. was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. Hmm. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. So, I can everybody we've... It Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. So, everybody we've seen now has either be become our enemy or been killed. 
way too many people were killed and they should have shown not told that whole story that was a ridiculous element uh, let's see so we have to or we want to get that first of all we need to figure out how to get out of here this is the abandoned apartment key and this is there on the outside of this old port sewer district key bend apartment keys so that they're hiding out there and we're gonna assumedly kill them so I wish this door wasn't so easy to find or something something needed to be changed there because I Several times came to this door, expecting. They left in great haste, scattering like the insects, eager to belong to the nest to wait for them. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Through the mask in the river, left town. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwell girl from him the whole time they were working with. I heard they locked him in a cage, and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. With that <laughs> crazy mask on. Creeping closer, and closer, ever closer, until... Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo, anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, and a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to them with our training. Well... Now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying for the cover of the tall boys out back. <laughs> like you were the other night. What was I supposed to do? Stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. Hmm. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's going to be a new era. Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't going to cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. He says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic. And the rats are never going to leave until we had a real Caldwell back. He says the outsider follows Corvo around. There's some curse on this city, that's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't hmm. remind me. Before we go, I'm going to stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take them out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. So they're going to sit here. Find Havelock or some clue to his plans. So it seems like we can sit here and have listened to th that whole thing. Let's see. Here's the guy right there. But will he see me? Attention Dunwall citizens, Hiram Burroughs, formerly the Lord Regent, has confessed to heinous crimes against the people of Dunwall. He shall be confined to the Coldridge prison until the proper authorities decide his sentence. So... <clears throat> Sokolov, I don't think I... Still trying to penetrate the workshop. Here we go. I think Piero Joplin's inside. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Let's try uh Fire Let's try our new uh, freeze time ability next time. I go here and go here. Nice.
So here's Emily. Uh, a letter from Emily. Corvo, remember before I, when I mentioned a special drawing I was working on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went and I hope you come back to see this and like it. I'd like to take it to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Samuel was whispering to Callista about a flare launcher that she was supposed to use to call him. She told her he told her to lock the door in my old tower. I heard the Admiral tell others that we are leaving tonight for a place called the Lighthouse on King Sparrow Island. I hope you get back or before then. Can't stay hidden forever. So Callista is still alive? I thought she was dead. If there are people in this cell section, we want that room. That's all we really want. It's one more floor down. And I do want to go talk to Havelock. But first things first. Rune is on the outside of this? Who's in here? Nobody? Just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. They Plague cleared out crap. the buildings. Everything's missing. All the furniture and items. and take this Sokolov drink. Nothing here in the bathroom. So it's supposed to be 25 meters on the other side of this building. Let's ignore that for a moment and go down the Havelock. Here he is. Shoot. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? And it seems like the tall boys know. Have a lot of orders to the guard uh, at the lighthouse. So it's two two levels that pretty much did the exact same thing. Two sections. So optional make contact with Piro and Sokolov in the wash walk shop. Enter through the riverside balcony. Alright, let's do that. Since we're sneaking around this whole section. Is it super impactful that this area that has been a safe zone before is now a level we have to run around through and hide? Uh, I really don't think it is. Like, here are some power generators and here is a thing but if I turn this on won't it just hurt me? Yeah it's inoperable right now. So the rune 
number 16. No, 16 meters away. It is right there. Callista is, is there in the middle. Dead. We knew, we kind of knew that already. Emily's tower key is needed. Interesting. Why? Why won't they let me get get in to Emily's section? The Riverside balcony is right here. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which you might have pointed out Our at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. Just a I want nest of ask worms. So he was having dreams from the outsider, and that's how he was saved. And where am I to find the subject? Let's go ahead and turn this I off, can't though. From prisons as you do, but it's forced me to work with another agent derived from the river crusts. Yes, I'd guessed as much, hmm. but I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with ease, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. Hmm. So, I think I'll do the more interesting thing. Let's see if he's selling I'll anything. make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. New upgrades are available. Let's see. We have improved armor, which I'll take. We have pistol explosive shot. I uh, will take that. I will take pistol magazine. And I guess we can get incendiary bolts now. Or we could have always done that. Let's see. Fill up on those. Explosive bullets. Versus regular bullets. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go and buy one just so we make sure. So. We now have explosive bullets, we have regular bullets, we have this bolt, this bolt, this incendiary bolt. So we got a little bit of everything. We need that blueprint. With that, we can complete the job. This whole circle being painted here, I have no idea. It feels like a reference to Portal, really. If, if I'm just gonna be honest, it, it really just feels like they're making reference to the game portal. For no reason other than maybe they like the game. Let's get the blueprint, which isn't gonna cause us any trouble to get that because we've already really emptied out this whole area. What? 
Why is no one making rounds over here? This better not be a joke. Hmm. What? Why is no one making rounds over here? Huh? This better Jeez. I think that's kind of cool that if you kill them fast enough, you put your hand over their uh, mouth and they don't scream. <coughs> yeah, once again, though, I have to kind of point out that if you were playing this the way they wanted you to play it, you couldn't do any of the moves I'm doing right now. That they've put so much effort into making these systems, which you can smoothly kill all these bad guys, and yet you can't do any of them. I guess I have to give the blueprints to... Uh. Now, is there a key to Emily's room? I believe there probably is. And we're going to get to that in a second, but first things first. We'll start that playing again. Cursed dreams were accurate. Conspiracy, just a nest of worms. All is falling to ruin. The and problem with the audio recordings is they're too long. It needs to be just a couple sentences, and that's about all you can do. Set off a pyre equal to my brilliance. There. I mean, that was slightly too long. Here are the blueprints. Astonishing. The arc pylon is complete. Now to activate. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corporal? This is such a blatant, uh, such a blatant, ridiculous, just make your choice, one or the other. And realistically, this city of Dunwall is running out of people quickly so unless I, my goal is to get rid of all of the citizens of Dunwall and leave Emily with no subjects whatsoever I want to put them to sleep see if we can arrest them rehabilitate them most of them are just following orders anyways as you wish Corvo we will be far away before any of them regain their senses All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, so it's another one of these. Come near us. Uh, another one of these puzzles that we've done before. Uh, But it's in the exact same place, and we've already done this. It seems really silly that I'm getting forced, really, to play. Let's see. Go. So one more. Okay. Amazing. Simply amazing. It functioned beyond my greatest expectations. It defies description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Hmm. I guess it would. Just don't get too close to it. So there's all kinds of people now that in theory I could loot. Emily banged her head in confusion. They dragged her crying into the waiting boat. She called your name. Got 
got some incendiary bolts. No other collectibles. You can't look into the hearts of normal enemies, apparently. Letter to Callista. Callista, fret not. I believe there is still hope for Emily and Dunwall. I don't believe Corvo is gone. I've been searching the river for him. But if you catch wind of him, shoot up a flare using the launcher I placed in Emily's tower and I'll make sure, make my way back as quickly as I can. Keep this tower locked and take care of yourself. Emily is going to need you when this is over. Samuel. So did we just get the key? And this door has changed now. It's locked. It's a permanently locked door. Instead of being able to go in there and so whatever opening the sewer thing was about that must have been an option I either was m not allowed to take or I screwed up and didn't take let's go back up here we need a flare gun from Emily's tower <laughs> I suppose I could go kill both of these if I wanted to. Uh, probably would just game over again. So let's open this. Here we go. And you know what? We've got all this stuff. Let's pick it up quickly. But we will end our recording here. Because... We've obviously got a little bit here, and then starting with next recording, we are probably going to uh, be into what I believe is the last level. So, as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. That'll take you to my main YouTube page. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.